Kali Linux is on the Microsoft Store, and that isn't clickbait. Stick around, and in just a few minutes, you'll have Kali running on your own Windows 10 system on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Kali Linux is the de facto OS choice for penetration testers and ethical hackers. Its repository holds most major hacking tools, and its huge community provides valuable support to noobs and veterans alike. However, it can still be a daunting task for a noob to download and install Kali for the first time. And for veterans, you likely understand the struggle of using dual boot or finicky virtual machines, or God forbid, having to carry around a second dedicated Linux laptop which is why we're looking at using the Windows subsystem for Linux today. It provides a convenient way to download not only Kali Linux, but any other Linux distribution, and run those binaries directly on top of the Windows OS. This provides performance gains over a virtual machine without the inconvenience of a dual boot system. Now, those are a great combo, but it does have one downside. You can't have a wonderful Windows Wi-Fi hacking machine because it doesn't have raw socket support, which means you won't be able to use tools like Nmap and you won't be able to put Wi-Fi adapters into monitor mode. Now, Microsoft is aware of this issue and they're working on it, and we'll put a link to the GitHub ticket below so you can go and tell them that you want them to make this a priority. But in the meantime, it's still worth taking the five minutes to download Kali because there's so many other uses for Kali. So let's get started. To begin, open the article in the description below. While this isn't absolutely necessary, trust me, it'll make your life a lot easier. When you get there, scroll down to step one and copy the enable Windows optional feature. What we're doing here is enabling the Linux subsystem. So control C, then Windows X and click on Windows PowerShell Admin. Then you'll have a pop-up, just click yes. And go over to PowerShell and control V. Then click enter and it'll start downloading. This can take a couple of seconds. Now, as you can see here, mine's already set up, but for you, you'll be prompted to restart. So click Y and enter, and then your computer will automatically reboot. Once you're back with us and restarted, open the article again and scroll down to step two and click on the install Kali Linux. This will open the Windows Store automatically. Although alternatively, you can go down to the taskbar here and click on the Microsoft Windows Store and search for Kali in the top right bar. Once you've found the Kali Linux page, click Git, and it'll take a couple of minutes to start downloading. Here it's prompting me to use it across devices. That's optional for you, but no thanks. While this is downloading, if you're interested in other Linux distributions, you can go to the top right search bar and start looking for things like Ubuntu or Debian, but for us, we're just interested in Kali today. Now that it's all installed, we're ready to launch. You may also want to go ahead and pin it to start, so that way it's easy to access. You can do that by clicking the pin to start, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and launch. Now, it'll take a couple of minutes to install and set up things in the first run. And also, we're going to have to set up our user account names. OK, now it's prompting us for our Unix username. So you can do whatever you want. Use a cool hacker name if you have one. I'm just going to be boring and use my name today. Then click Enter. and. So now it's prompting us to enter our username. Here I fucked up a little and uh, used capital M, but um, just put over what, whatever cool name you have that you wanna use. And then it'll prompt you to create a password for the account. Remember, use a strong password, letters, numbers, special characters, etc. cetera. 
click enter and retype it. And there you go. Now we have a prompt. Now, of course, what you should always do is you should always go and do sudo app get upgrade, update and upgrade. And click enter. Um, and of course it'll ask for the password. So just type in the password that you just used. It shouldn't take very long. We just installed this. This is just a uh, final check. Then you want to do sudo app get disk upgrade. This will upgrade the uh, Kali Linux distribution. And click enter. Again, doesn't take very long at all. Now, we can go ahead and start installing tools and stuff now because this install doesn't come with all the standard Kali Linux tools pre installed just to keep it small and compact. So, if you want to install something, you can use the typical commands for that. So, that would be sudo app get install and then the name of the tool. So we can do sudo apt get and then install something like Wireshark and it'll start downloading it and then it'll prompt us to confirm and download. Now, something we can do while this is running is we can go and add the exception to the Windows firewall. This is necessary if you plan on using tools like Metasploit because for obvious reasons, Windows Defender will not like Metasploit and will register it as a virus. So you just wanna go over to the article and go to step four and click this uh, file location and copy and paste it and then open a file explorer. And up here in the address bar, paste it and then replace your username with your username. So here I'm using mine, Michael, and click enter. Then you're gonna go down here and you're gonna look for Kali Linux. Uh, it'll be Kali Linux and then some random letters and numbers. Um, it'll vary from person to person but click on it and then copy this location by clicking on the address bar and control C. Now we're ready to open the Windows Defender Security Center. So go down to Cortana's little bar in the bottom left and start typing Defender and you should see Windows Defender Security Center pop up here. Once you're there, you can go over to the little shield, click there, and then virus and threat protection settings, and then scroll down to exclusions and add or remove exclusions. Okay, so you can go up to add an exclusion and click plus, and then folder, and you should be able to paste the folder address in the bottom bar here and select folder. When you do this, Windows will ask you to confirm, click yes, and then it should add your exclusion here. With that done, you're all ready to go. Now you have an exclusion to your Windows Defender, so you should be able to use things like Metasploit. And as you can see in Kali Linux, our Wireshark is all downloaded and installed. And it's that easy to get Kali Linux up and running on your Windows system. All right, now that you've got your Kali Linux subsystem installed, try downloading some of your favorite tools. Start with Metasploit, Wireshark, or Empire. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Cyber Weapons Lab.